Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and welcome to this week's edition of 24 Weeks of Christmas. So, um, unlike my Halloween in August video, let me remind you of the other participants in this collaboration. It was my lovely friend Angie, who is AB Designs, and my good friend Gareth, who has created Homa G, and also Mr. Tony from Kate's Crafty Closet. Now, all of them are joining in um, in this collaboration, so I hope you will look down below in the description box and go over and check their videos out, too, because they all make some lovely creations. So, what have I got for you today? Well, today we are going to be making shaker embellishments. Now, I had a few little pieces left over from a little kit from Queen and & Company and some bits and bobs and things, and I didn't have... Um, what I actually needed, uh, so I had to create something. <laughs> so that is what we're going to do today. So to start with, I had one of these little discs right here, and I went ahead and used the die. It's this little die right here. It looks like a Christmas ornament. Um, I actually don't want the little this part on there, so we're going to cut that off. This is the paper that I use. It's called Christmas Cheer, and it is also by Queen and & Company. And then I used my 2-inch punch and punched out um, the piece of paper that matches this right here. And so that is about it. So let's get started. Okay, so one of the things that we need is the little plastic, I know you probably can't see this, maybe put it on a piece of paper so you can see it, the little plastic sheeting to cover that um, so we can make our little um, shaker. And I did not have enough of these left, and so all I did was took a piece of um, film, and that's why I always save my packaging and stuff like that, and I just held up the little circle. Well, I can't even find that now. <laughs> oh, here it is. I put it back down. I just held up a little circle like this and on a piece of plastic and just cut around it. So you don't have to have this at all. All you would need for this is a two and a half inch die cut circle and then some foam or you can cut out a bunch of them and stack them together so you don't actually have to have this but it just makes it convenient and then i cut out um punched out the little ornament part i'm gonna leave this on for now but it's not going to stay on and then let me show you um because i've had some going on over here um you have these little medium-sized discs left over, and then I had these over here. So these are going to be the star for next week. I'm going to show you what to do with the leftover bits and bobs of paper so we don't waste anything. And that's what I'm trying to do, use up my stash. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to lay this down where I can see it. Let me tell you, it is hard to see and find. I have lost it I don't know how many times. So this comes with a protective circle. It's going to take that off. So this is sticky. And then we're going to push out the center. And this is another thing I was telling you about. Um, save all these little bits and pieces. I did. And we're going to be doing something with those next week. So then we're just going to sort of center our circle, our little plastic film over the circle now it's a little bit bigger so i'm just going to trim it up a little bit and that's okay because we can do that if i can see it oh there we go just going to trim a little bit off make it even like i said you could totally make this without any of the kit that I have left over. Okay. I think that is about good. You just want your um, plastic to be, you know, a little bit sturdy. 
So some of those Dollar Tree stickers are on very sturdy acetate. And so that'll be great. Now, before we stick this on and everything, and before we take this protective part off, we're going to take some of our little anti-clean powder, and we're going to rub around the edges of this, and we're going to rub on here, and you really want to do this because your stuff will start flying if you don't. Okay. Now, I have some little stuff here. I have some little red and some little green beads. And before I handle these, I am also going to put some electrostatic on my fingers. Because they stick to your fingers and they fly all over the place. And I don't want them to be flying all over the place. So... We're just going to put a few of them in here. And they fly all over the place whether you want them to or not. <laughs> okay. They're very clingy. But when you put the anti-static on there, they don't pop out so bad. So I'm just going to put a few red ones in there. Brush my fingers one more time. And that smells good too. I got this from, it's Eco Tools from May May. So, Okay, come on, fingers. I'm telling you, I've had the worst life with my fingers the last couple of weeks. I just don't want to do what they're supposed to do. There we go. So we're just going to put a few of the green ones in there. Let's make these traditional colors. And let's put a few. So now they didn't hop out of here, they hopped out of the bag. Let's put a few gold ones in there. Make it red and green and gold. Traditional Christmas colors. Which Gareth asked a question the other day on his Facebook group about posting a picture that was the theme of your Christmas. And I must have put the gold ones up. And, um, that's my theme this year, is a traditional Christmas. Let's see, I got blue. I thought I left the gold out. But, it escapes me. I have been very busy today. Here it is. I've been very busy today. Crafting away. Which has been a lot of fun just to spend some time in my craft room. Okay. Let's see if we can get those back in there without... Oh, we didn't spill those. That's good. Okay. Now, we're going to take this right here. This is the two and a half inch punch that I put on here. And we're going to very gently take this off. And try not to bounce it. Because I bounced it earlier today when I was doing this. And we're just going to line this up. Make sure our hole is completely covered. Now, I don't have a punch big enough to cover the whole back of it. But you'll see what I did on the other one. But in the meantime, what you can do is take your anti-static powder. And just rub it on the back of your... Back here, and it takes all the stickiness off so it doesn't stick. Just get around the edges good. Okay. Now, so we have our little shaker bit right there. 
Now we're just going to add some glue to our ring on top of our acetate. And I'm trying to keep it on the edges so I don't get smushed out in the middle of the acetate. And then put our ring down. Just try to even it up the best I can on here. There we go. Cover up all that weight. So, there's our little shaker. And now these could be make great tags um, for packages. I need to trim that little edge with a little bit more plastic off of there. These would be great little tags for packages or um, any kind of little uh, ornaments. You'd have to make it a, really out of heavy duty cardstock if you wanted to ornament out of it because this part right here would not be very thick. I'm just trying to trim down some of that acetate. I got it's just a little bit too much right here. Okay. Now what I'm going to do. I, I, went, I don't think I'm going to leave it as an ornament. I think I just want a circle. So like a wreath. So I'm just going to take my scissors and follow the curve of the circle and cut it off. Like so. Now let's decorate this up a little bit with some bits and bobs that I have. So, since we have red, green, and gold on here, I think I'm going to use these. These are called Chuck Classy Red. And then, um, look, green. I don't like the donuts. I think they're too big. And we got the, it says teal blue, but it looks green to me. So, we're going to put a few of those on there. And then we're going to tie us a little bow. Have some twine here. Oh, sorry, y'all. Just kind of a little bow and cut a little bow and put on it. And I'm trying to decide if I want it at the bottom or at the top. I actually like the top. Hang down a little bit. Let's put some little little decorations on there. Yeah, I like that classy red. My little picky tool here and pick a couple of them off. And maybe we'll do red and green. I don't have any gold, but we'll do red and green. And we'll make the green smaller in between. And then we'll do red. Just evenly spacing this out. done here. I'm going to leave a space at the top for our little ribbon.
Well, that was a big one. We don't want a big one. It's a little bit too big on there. Get it back on there. Well, it just lay there. <laughs> They're all kind of statically clean here. All right. I want this thing turned over. There we go. Phew. Okay, so now we're just going to put our little bow up here on the top. Just give it a little adjustment here. to glue on there. And then put that right there. Give it just hold it on there for a second to the glue holes. Okay, so I'm just gonna trim this up just a little bit. And look at the cute little shaker we got. Now this would be cute on a card. Um, it'd be cute on, um, in a journal or, you know, something like that. And I love how those little beads roll around. Let me show you one that I made earlier. This is one I made, um, with snowflakes, like the snowflake paper. And I didn't put quite as many beads in there. I wish I had put more, but it's okay. And I just used a couple little snowflakes from my Dollar Tree stickers that I've been trying to use up. And then I used some of this little um, fun fur. It's um, Robert Stanley. This came from uh, Hobby Lobby or somewhere like that. I've had it for a million years. I don't even know. But it's just like this right here. So I just cut some and put some on the back. But how cute is that? That'd be fun. Both of them are really fun. So that is it. That's our little shaker embellishments. And like I said, you can definitely make these without the foam thing. Um, if I did not have that foam piece, what I would have done, uh, because I don't have any more foam tape, like, you know, to do it right, I would have cut probably about 10 of these circles and uh, with my die. And I would just use my, my circle die that's about this size and one size you know, smaller, so I could get the middle cut out, and I would have cut about 10 of those, and then, um, taken my first layer and glued my acetate to it, um, and then stacked up the rest of them so that they'd make a little well, and then put your little beads or sequins or whatever you want in it, and then tape it up, and you have a little shaker element. But I just think these are so cute. So that is my project for 24 weeks of Christmas this week. Don't forget to come back next week and see what I do with all these little bits and bobs left over. And don't forget also to go to everybody else's channel, um, Angie, Garris, and Tony's, and check out what their project is for 24 weeks of Christmas this week. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure if you've not yet subscribed to my channel that you do so by clicking the little red button down there that says subscribe. And then don't forget to tap the bell and you will be notified as often as you want to um, when I upload a video. All right, guys, thank you so much. See you all soon. Oh, don't forget um, Thursday Night Live tonight at 730. All right, bye-bye.